Hey guys, welcome back to the Mother Mantle. As you can see, I am in my car. You guys, this week has been crazy. We just moved into our house and it has just been thing after thing, delivery after delivery, trying to unpack. So it's crazy. I'm on my lunch break. I'm in my car, but I didn't want to miss this week's devotional because I really feel like God wants me to share this with you guys. I think it's going to help you guys like it's helped me. So um, we're going to be in Matthew 5, 9. You guys have probably heard this verse, but it's blessed are the peacemakers for they will be called the children of God. Popular verse. You probably learned it somewhere in Sunday school or something, but what God revealed to me with the scripture is that A, we are peacemakers. So that's huge right there. Um, even in the midst of chaos, we can bring the peace. We are carriers of peace because if we have the Holy Spirit inside of us, then part of that is being a peacemaker and bringing the peace. And so, um, you know, I thought that was really just profound because a lot of times we feel like we need to like be in an environment that's peaceful in order to have peace, but that's just not what the word of God says. In fact, it says that peacemakers would be called the children of God. So it's going to be a marker of being a child of God is that we bring the peace. And I think a misconception when it comes to peace is that we have to agree with everything around us. That's not true, actually. It's probably contrary. You know, we can stand, we have to stand up for truth. And doesn't mean we have to agree with everything. Doesn't mean we have to, you know, be friends with everyone and, you know, just be agreeable and tolerant of everything. But it does mean where there's division, where there's chaos, it is our job to bring peace, to bring truth, and um, and to say and to declare that, you know, we're going to be people of peace. We're not going to be, be people who are divisive, who are super critical and tear people down. We're going to build people up. And that will be the true marker of a believer, especially in the times of chaos. You guys, I don't know about you, but I have turned off the news. It is chaotic. It is just trying to incite fear into my life. And I'm like, I can't do it. And so um, to live in the times that we're living in and to be a person of peace, it is countercultural. It doesn't make sense. Like literally people are... We've seen anxiety, depression rates higher than they've ever been. So to be a child of God, to carry that peace, it's just, it brings, it's the opposite spirit of what's happening in our world right now. And you guys, it's not some, peace isn't some passive thing, some soft like, oh, I'm just peaceful. No, it's strategic. It is like battlefield ready to bring peace is so countering, like countering the enemy's plans. It's strategic. It's wartime stuff. Like we think it to, we often think it's this like soft, like passive, um, almost like a defense, you know, like secondary, like, oh, I'm just gonna bring the peace. No, it is God's strategy for this time. And if we can be people that when others get around us, they're like, Oh, I can breathe. Whew, I, you know, I have hope again. You know, I, I can believe again. You know, I can go another day because it's so hard. If we can be those people, I'm telling you guys, like we will see people come to Christ. We'll see people drawn, draw, draw into us. I can't talk to it. We'll see people will draw into us because they're attracted to our peace. So blessed are those Blessed are the peacemakers for they are the children of God. Let that be the scripture that rings true for you. Um, and it's something that I want to focus on this week as well. So love you guys. Short and sweet. Hope you guys are having a great week. Pray for me, you guys. Moving with toddlers, moving with a baby and a toddler. Oh, crazy. So pray for me. Love you. Bye.